the 10 yard penalty. You know what? 15 yard penalty. It's that cute. Excessive cuteness. I mean, come on. Dan Shackner just refereed Animal Planet's Puppy Bowl 9. It, of course, aired on Super Bowl Sunday. And today, listen to this. Showbiz Night learned exactly how obsessed America is with the Puppy Bowl. Brand new revelations, including the news that 12.4 million people watched the Puppy Bowl marathon. That's amazing to me. During the blackout at the Super Bowl, viewers turned into the Puppy Bowl with ratings spiking. 54% of that time, and we also learned today that the Puppy Bowl was in the top 10 of shows talked about most on social media. Pretty amazing. So let's call in the ref. Puppy Bowl referee Dan Shackner is with me tonight in New York for one doggone headline making showbiz newsmaker interview. Thank you for wearing your stripes, Dan. Great having you here. Listen, I could watch this all day long, and that's why I was happy you guys did the marathon, but why exactly from the perspective of a man, of a man who's been involved for so long are we just so obsessed with this thing? Oh, well, I think there's the extreme cuteness factor, number one. Number two, it's a nice alternative to the Super Bowl uh, for people who might find the Super Bowl a little bit high stakes, high energy, high stress. So this is a much lower, calmer alternative. It's a show the whole family can watch, um, and it goes on all day. And, and as you just heard, I mentioned that ratings spiked 54% during this blackout. Let me ask you, when you knew the blackout had happened, when yeah. you were watching it and saw the lights go down at the Super Bowl, were you saying to yourself, Yes. And were you calling the other people involved in this thing? Well, frankly, I didn't even know there was another game that day. Oh, until right, of course. Told I'm me. sorry. But apparently there is a Super Bowl that day. <laughs> um, and yes, people told me that during that time people switched over. I did think that. During the blackout, I thought, you know, this is going on a little while. This is certainly going to help us. And it did. We reached uh, a tremendous amount of viewers. And we were the second most viewed show that day, which that, is incredible. I mean, CBS. that really, it's like American Idol numbers. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> and of course, I have to wonder, as I've watched you do this throughout the years, what it's like to be a ref at the Puppy Bowl. Now, I don't necessarily need details on exactly right. how many times the puppies pee on your shoes, but you don't first, know. first, let's watch you in action in this thing. Go. Okay. Time out. Napping. Come on. Everybody join in. It's a good idea. No, 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 no. Nap time. Quiet time. Quiet. Okay, everyone, calm down. Let's just take five. We've had a long day. You guys are not hearing me. Okay, I'm gonna have to throw a flight. Oh, all right. Excessive puppies on the ref. All of you, 10 yards. Now, 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 Dan, I got to tell you, I really enjoy what I do for a living. I'm rarely jealous of other people, but man, I, I, I'm extraordinarily jealous of, of the fact that you get to do this. You, you shot with these puppies for 12 hours. Yep. I've always wondered how in the world you keep order with a bunch of puppies running around because it does look pretty organized for what it is. Thank you. That's the magic of editing. <laughs> it is a long day. Um, it's not so much about keeping order as, as it is just about picking your battles. You have to decide which fouls you're going to call, um, you know, which puppies you're going to make an example of, and just keep the game pace going so things don't get too out of hand. So you have to pick your battles. And one of my favorite things about the puppies is that they are rescues provided by yes. a great organization, PetFinder.com. And some of them do, unfortunately, come from some pretty bad circumstances. But as an animal lover and activist, I was so pleased to learn that all of the dogs we saw in the puppy bowl have been adopted. And I imagine for you, that's particularly gratifying. Yeah, they get adopted pretty quickly, as you could imagine. But the good news is, is that if you're watching the puppy bowl and you see a particular breed or dog that appeals to you and you want, just go to PetFinder.com and they will help you find a dog in your local shelter or rescue center that uh, might be a good fit for your home. See, it's fun to watch, and you're doing good, Dan. Thank you We're so trying. much for being with here. It was great having you. Thanks for having me.